In this video, we'll journey back in time to explore the story of the 1967 L88 Corvette and uncover what makes it the most extraordinary and rare Corvette ever built. The Genesis of the L88 the 1967 L88 Corvette has a legendary origin story. Thanks to the extraordinary Zora Arcus Duntov, this Corvette engineer was a racing fanatic, determined to make the Corvette a track-dominating beast. Despite the Automobile Manufacturers Association's 1957 ban on factory-backed racing, which should have put a damper on his ambitions, Duntov was relentless. He knew that the Corvette's future hinged on providing its metal on the racetrack. So, he secretly pushed for high-performance versions of the car, all while GM management was none the wiser. By 1967, GM had rolled out its new 427 cubic inch big block engine platform, offering the L32 with 390 horsepower and the L72 with 425 horsepower. But Duntov wasn't done yet. He saw that the 427 cubic inch V8 had untapped potential for even more power and performance. And so, he set out to create something truly special, the L88. This wasn't just about more horsepower, it was about crafting an engine that would push the limits of what a production car could do. And the L88 was his crowning achievement. The L88 Engine The 1967 L88 Corvette is legendary for its engine, which was nothing short of a game changer. Imagine taking a standard big block engine and cranking it up to 11. This is exactly what the L88 did. It started with the same basic engine block found in other big blocks to deliver jaw-dropping performance. The heart of the L88 was its forged steel cross-drilled crankshaft, boasting a four-bolt main construction paired with forged, short-peened connecting rods. These beefy components were engineered to handle the high demands of performance driving. But what really set the L88 apart was its staggering compression ratio of 12.5 to 1. This was achieved by an aggressive larger carburetor and lightweight aluminum cylinder heads. The engine's bore diameter was 4.25 inches, and it had a stroke of 3.76 inches, just like the L36 and L72 versions. However, the L88's compression ratio was in a league of its own. The camshaft was particularly fierce featuring a lift of 562 by 584 inches, pushing performance to the extreme. You might be wondering why the L88's camshaft was so vital to its performance and how it contributed to the engine's insane power. And what about those aluminum heads? What made them so impactful? Stick around because we'll be answering all these questions in a while. The L88's aluminum cylinder heads were a major breakthrough. They came with massive valves, 2.19 inches for intake and 1.84 inches for exhaust, and large rectangular intake ports. Not only did this shed 70 pounds off of the engine's weight compared to the earlier cast iron heads, it also vastly improved airflow and engine performance. Adding to this potent mix was the Holley 850 cubic feet per meter carburetor, the largest ever put in a production GM engine, designed to sip exclusively on high octane fuel. So, what made the camshaft and aluminum heads such game changers? The camshaft's aggressive design was crucial for pushing the engine's performance boundaries, while the aluminum heads were all about weight reduction and airflow efficiency. Together, they made the L88 a true powerhouse. Configurations and Specifications The 427 cubic inch L88 engine was nothing short of revolutionary in the muscle car era, setting new standards in performance and engineering. While it shared its engine block with other big blocks in the GM lineup, the L88 was a completely different beast thanks to a series of strategic upgrades that transformed it into a powerhouse. At the heart of the L88 was a forged steel, cross-drilled crankshaft, securely held in place by a four-bolt main construction. This crankshaft wasn't just built for durability, it was designed to withstand the extreme forces generated by the engine's massive output. Paired with this crankshaft were forged, shot-peened connecting rods, ensuring they could handle the intense stresses of high-performance driving without failing. The L88's aluminum pistons were another key component of its performance edge. These pistons were connected to the rods via floating piston pins, a design choice that was far from ordinary. The floating pin setup significantly reduced friction within the engine, contributing not only to its overall durability, but also to its ease of service. This attention to detail in the L88's internals 
allowed the engine to perform at levels that were well beyond the typical capabilities of its contemporaries. What set the L88 apart was its engineering for extreme performance. For example, stamped steel rocker arms and robust 716-inch pushrods were employed to manage the engine's valve actuation. Additionally, a third dampener spring was integrated to control the valves at engine speeds exceeding 7,000 RPM. This design ensured that the L88 could maintain its performance even in high rev situations, a critical factor in its success on the track. Officially, the L88 was rated at 430 horsepower, but this figure was a deliberate understatement by GM. The true power of the L88 was closer to 540 to 580 horsepower. This intentional downplaying was a strategy to deter casual buyers, as GM wanted to keep this powerhouse engine in the hands of serious racers who could truly appreciate its capabilities. With its immense power, the 1967 Corvette equipped with the L88 could tear through the quarter mile in just under 12 seconds. This staggering performance cemented the L88's reputation as a race-bred engine, cleverly disguised within a production car and left an indelible mark on the history of muscle cars. Price and Cost The L88 Corvette was far from a budget-friendly option. With a list of mandatory features, the L88 came in at over $5,700, a hefty 35% markup over the base Corvette. This steep price, combined with the engine's need for 103-octane racing fuel, only available at select stations, discouraged many potential buyers. As a result, Chevrolet sold just 20 units of the L88 in 1967. The Sunfire Yellow example featured here is one of these rare models. What makes this particular Corvette even more special is its unique characteristics. It's the only 1967 L88 finished in Sunfire Yellow, and the sole example to receive both the Duntov and Triple Diamond awards while still retaining its original powertrain. Though it has undergone restoration, the car remains highly original and has won numerous accolades over the years. Impressively, it's still titled to the war veteran who purchased it in 1967, meaning it has never been retitled since that initial sale. This remarkable Corvette has changed hands a few times over the years, most recently selling at auction for $1.65 million, which was $1.815 million including the buyer's premium. This price tag places it among the most expensive C2 Corvettes ever auctioned, surpassing even the Z06 big tank models in value. However, it's worth noting that this L88 has seen higher bids in the past, nearly $3 million in 2018 and $2.69 million three years later. The reason for the significant drop in price is unclear, but this Corvette remains one of the few C2s to fetch a seven-figure sum. Interestingly, while $1.65 million is a substantial amount, it's a relative bargain compared to the most expensive 1967 L88, which sold for $3.2 million in January 2024. L88 Corvette is a rare treasure. Today, the 1967 L88 Corvette is a rare gem in the automotive world, and it's highly prized by collectors. Why? Well, only 216 of these bad boys were ever made and many were raced hard, so they're hard to find in good conditions. The L88 was built for performance, not just for show. Its high-powered engine made it a beast on the track, and it racked up impressive wins at iconic races like Daytona and Sebring. These successes on the track proved just how formidable the L88 was. But because so many were used for racing, finding a well-preserved model today is like stumbling upon a hidden treasure. If you're lucky enough to own one, you've got a piece of automotive history that's not just rare, but also carries a story of speed and victory. Where did the first and last L88 Corvettes go? You might be wondering where the first and the last L88 Corvettes have been hiding out. That's a question for any car enthusiast. Rick Trewargi, a true muscle car aficionado, had a passion for collecting these iconic vehicles for nearly 60 years. His love for muscle cars was so profound that in 2009, he decided to turn his personal collection into a public spectacle by opening the Muscle Car City Museum in Punta Gorda, Florida. For 14 years, the museum was a treasure trove for car lovers, showcasing a jaw-dropping array of classic muscle cars, including the highly coveted L88 Corvettes. The museum became a pilgrimage site for those who wanted to see these legendary vehicles up close. 
But what happened to this incredible collection? In 2021, the museum's story took a dramatic turn. Most of its impressive collection, including those rare L88 Corvettes, was auctioned off at a Mecham auction. The results were spectacular, with the sale bringing in a staggering $18.4 million. The auction not only marked the end of an era for the Muscle Car City Museum, but also gave collectors and enthusiasts a chance to acquire some of the most sought-after muscle cars ever built. So, if you've ever wondered where the first and last L88 Corvettes ended up, they've likely found new homes with collectors who appreciate the rare and historic status. And while the Muscle Car City Museum is no longer in operation, its legacy lives on through these spectacular vehicles that continue to captivate the imagination of car lovers everywhere. What do you think about the 1967 L88 Corvette? Is it the ultimate classic? Or is there another vintage vehicle that steals your heart? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, share this video with car enthusiasts, and subscribe for more incredible content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more automotive adventures.